What's up, sneaker fam? It's your boy McFly, the hardest working man in shoe tainment today. Coming at you again with another real review. If this is your first time over here in Atlanta, McFly, welcome you. I appreciate you stopping by. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, man. Hit that notification bell and all that good stuff, man, if you would be so kind. Also, if you enjoy the content, leave a like, drop a comment below. All that good stuff, man. If you dislike the content, drop a dislike and leave a comment below. Either way, subscribe. Either way it go, man. Also, subscribe to the Who Has The Heat YouTube channel, man. It's going down. Sneaker Battles, we back 2023 to take over again. 2022 was the biggest year ever, and 2023 is definitely looking up, man. You're not going to want to miss nothing we got going on over there. Also, subscribe to E-Money Shoes and 313 Retro Queen. My partners in crime, the family, the militia, my homies. You know. So today, man, we're back at it again with another review. We have the Nike Dunk Low Rose Whispers on deck, man. Women's exclusive. Apparently, this shoe dropped like a year ago or something. But there was a um, there was a restock at one of the local stores. They had pairs and people were buying them. And needless to say, <coughs> a purchase was made as usual. So how you guys feeling about the Rose Whispers, man? The Nike Dunk Low Rose Whisper. Me, I thought it was pretty bland and band-aid esque looking but once um i actually got in the hand and got a look at it, it's not really a bad shoe at all so with that i guess we'll hop into the review as you can see you got that rose whisper out so it's kind of a, like that yeezy blush color kind of that they were putting on the yeezys um all rose whispers rest in peace to, to yeezys and i hope nobody buys a, a adidas Yeezy without Kanye getting paid for it, like, for real. But either way, that's just my opinion. All white right, midsole, wrapping all the way around the shizu. You see it? I'm pretty clean, pretty nice, pretty neat. Then um, up top, you have your uh, Rose Whisper overlays on the top and the heel, as well as the Nike swoosh. Um, your underlays are all white leather. This is a all leather upper, by the way. Your underlays are all white leather. Flipping around to the heel, you got your Nike snitched in in the back. Nice little touch there. Um, it's just regular panda quality on this leather. It ain't nothing special, nothing that's going to wow you. Don't get excited expecting crazy quality because it ain't that. You got your uh, flat laces. I like these. I love these laces, by the way. I wish like all shoes came with this style of lace but it is what it is you got your all nylon tongue with your rose whisper tag up here at the top as well as your rose whisper insole with the white nike branding on that joint one thing that i did notice about this shoe is it's kind of two-toned and you can't really see it in pictures but the swoosh as you can see where it was cut the pieces here they have like a bright pinkish kind of hue to it trying to see if the camera pick yeah you can kind of see it like here on the inside and that kind of adds like another element for the color like oh you can see it real good here on the laces yeah you see that in there that's on the outline and um i thought that really made the shoe that made me be like oh okay i you know i get it but if you don't have it in hand you know what i'm saying you're not gonna notice that but um the dunk lows have been popping crazy. The SBs kind of took a step back. You know, you not see, didn't see a whole whole lot of SBs last year, but dunks was coming out like crazy. Pandas been restocking for going on two years, every month for two years. How many pandas did they make? Did they make eight billion pandas? Like, if, if you don't have a pair of panda low highs, men's or women's, you something wrong. You ain't you ain't try uh something. Cause that that's crazy. Like these pandas out of this world, man. Um no, no real errors, no mistakes, or glues, or stitching, or, or none of that stuff. This shoe actually came pretty proper, and um, yeah, I'm pretty pleased about it. Um, as far as sizing goes, I say go true to size. You can even go a half size up if you wanted to. You go full size up. If you flat footed, you go full size up, and you'll be just fine. Um, if um, probably my main recommendation would be to go a half size up, just just in case. But you don't have to. You can go true to size, whatever you want to do. My recommendation, half size up. Comfort, forget about it. Definitely on the C scale, man. I mean, you can wear them all day. They're not going to hurt your pinky toes and none of that stuff, but you're not going to get no wowing comfort out of these. Um, similar to Jordan 1, Chuck Taylor's, any of that other stuff. It's it's just pretty much, um, pretty much is what it is on that front. So, you know, don't expect to be wowed comfort-wise. But um, 
other than that, man, that's pretty much it for the uh, review. Camera lady says she's not doing on foot no more until she wear the shoes. So we're going to have to wait it out on the on foot. Like I said, leave a comment below, man. Let me know how you guys felt about these. If you're digging them, if you're not digging them, you're rocking with them, you're not rocking with them. It is what it is. And until I upload the next one, it's your boy McFly, man. Signing up.